All right, it's springtime. It's that time of the year to start thinking about thinning your fruit trees. Now, I was just over at a client's house, and what I want to talk about is when your fruit starts to develop, there are certain types of fruit trees that are much more important that you thin out the fruit so that the tree doesn't become so heavy that it can commit suicide. And the trees that you want to pay attention to are primarily the stone fruits like the nectarines, the peaches, uh, sometimes the pears can get real heavy. That's not a stone fruit. Uh, the apples, they can get really heavy. Uh, apricots are smaller, but sometimes you want to do a little thinning. Uh, the plum trees, if you've got a, a variety of plum that has the much larger plums, that can be a problem. Um, the smaller fruit, like cherries, you would never bother thinning a cherry tree. Um, most of the nut trees you don't, don't bother. Um, but it's really important because if you neglect the tree and it gets so overloaded with fruit, disaster can strike and it's not pretty. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we've got a nectarine tree here that is just getting started. And I looked at it and it's got a branch that snapped. And look at all those nectarines. Now this could have been prevented had the tree been thinned at the right time. And right now is okay. It's actually the best time is when they're really small. But thin it out to be an appropriate amount of fruit and then the tree will be able to support itself. If you don't, oftentimes a tree will commit suicide. So even up there, that's too many fruit. You can see a lot of these branches are bending over all the way around. If you don't do it, the tree will just, just kill itself. I had a client a few years ago that had this incredible white peach. It was a freestone white peach and she didn't thin the fruit and she called me up crying because the tree was just like this, was broken, but every single branch was snapped and broken to the ground. And I had no other option but to cut the tree back real hard and hope for the best. It did survive, but it was never quite the same. So uh, it's a little tight here for this little fruit tree, but it does need to be thinned. And to finish the story about that uh, peach tree, when that tree broke, all the branches were still somewhat attached. So my recommendation to her was to leave it alone until the peaches finished ripening, then we could cut it hard. The tree was close to being done and it took about another two to three weeks. And sure enough, the peaches did continue to ripen on the tree. She was able to get one last harvest before I came in and sadly cut the tree back really hard. Well, thanks for taking the time to view this brief presentation and uh, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, notice the hat that I'm wearing, Carroll College, Dad. That's where all my extra money goes.